What is up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is The Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself from games I've never played or heard about. This is a series of near replicant or near gestalt requests that I have because I am playing this game for the first time tomorrow. If you want to know where, it'll be right above my hairline. Twitch.tv, hey, Uncle Jesse. This is near replicant, snow in summer. And the title says another edit version soundtrack vice edition or weiss edition i'm excited i played automata and basically i am now i'm going to be playing replicant and all this is because the music is that cool I forgot to mention this is requested by jay this is snow and summer near replicant let's go triangle Interesting time signature. Ooh. Okay. That is a cool lead. I think Nier is like the master of that percussion sound. Sounds very um, ascending, like I'm moving up or going upwards. What a crazy little dynamic there. The drums are still going, but everything went mellow. That's what I'm saying. This percussion is so damn good. It could either sound intense or kind of calm. Brass section. I think Nier not only have they mastered percussion, but they mastered dynamics. When to come in, when to bring it down. I hear something over here on the left, very faintly. It's like a weird signal.
Oof. Super weird ending. Okay. It's interesting because Replicant. It sounds. It still sounds like near, right? But it sounds different enough where it doesn't sound like Automata. But it sounds like near. So I know Automata's music. I played Automata, and I'm familiar with it. And I love that soundtrack. It's what got me into playing it. And now I'm hearing these songs from Replicant. And I'm like, they have the same flavor, but they're different. It's a different coat of paint. It's not more of the same. Then again, these songs supposedly came out before Automata. So actually, I just remembered that a lot of a lot of Automata's music comes from this game. So I haven't heard anything yet that's crossed over. I think so far everything I've heard today from Replicant have been original songs that I have yet to hear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, okay. Like I said in the previous video that I kind of have a feeling now of what Nier music plays over. This didn't sound... Well, actually, it didn't sound very worldly or necessarily a battle, but it did sound like an intense moment. For example, I'm going to use an example from Automata where I don't remember the exact occur occurrence of it, but you're basically coming away from Pascal's village into the city ruins, and then the sky and everything is gray. And you're, go you're about to fight Angle for the th third time. You know what I'm saying? It's like when, he, when you fight him in the parking garage and then you get in the flight suit. That whole section, that, that music, that's what this reminded me of. That kind of just like, it's an intense part of the game that may go into a boss fight, but it's just like the world shifts or something. Everything is different. That's what I felt. And I mean, Nier does that so well. I feel like Nier's music is, is such a storytelling within itself. For example, this may sound kind of bizarre, but I like to think that the music, if you heard all the music, I don't know, I mean, I guess I'd have to be an experiment with someone who's willing to, to try it, but, but like if you were to hear every song in these games chronologically from the first song to the end, it would, it would have its own story. You can tell when it starts, you can tell when it ends. Like, it's that good with its, you know, musicality that it can do that. The game w is already fantastic. I don't know about Replicant, but the game, you know, the series is already fantastic. But I can't imagine it with any other type of sound. I just can't. Like, it totally fits this world of kind of... Well, at least with Automata, it's like, you know, is it is it sad? Is it kind of... Is it kind of underlying happiness? I don't know. It's just, you know... So it, it kind of makes you think, and it's a little unsettling. But, you know, with, the, with this title, like, Snow and Summer? It's a little vague. It's a little contradictory. Okay, but anyways, about the music... <laughs> itself is that I noticed at least so far in Replicant there's more emphasis on choir. Not that Automata doesn't have it, but like I, from the songs I've heard so far there's more of a choir overall in kind of every song. Uh, I'm not sure if... I mean yeah, I mean I'm, I'm sorry I'm like rambling but I'm just trying to think because like usually when I do these reactions I usually have zero context. I have no clue what's going on but this time I have played the sequel to this game so i'm catching myself thinking but then i'm like oh wait hold on i actually have a little bit of experience with this so i'm kind of like stumbling a little bit uh, i do think it's either leading up to a boss or a boss but either way like i feel like there's a dramatic shift clearly it's, it's a more intense song it's it's very up there and i did feel like it's ascending i don't know if there's flighting flighting i don't know if there's flying in this game as well but it, it definitely feels at least like cloudy and ascension. And then the other only point I have is I never really thought about it, but I'm aware that Kaichi Okabe composes, but I actually don't know who is hired for like the, uh, the symphony side. Who Who's actually performing these? And do they have their own original stuff? Do they perform? I, I'm like, I've never actually like, sat here and thought, I'm like, wait, who's actually playing and performing these things because this is like super impressive man like 
this, this is why I'm playing it. It stands out so hard. Out of all the music that I've heard in my life, and VGM, and this channel, which I've heard hundreds of songs now, Nier just sounds like Nier. And there's no way else to put that. It's such a... I don't know, it feels like a fever dream sometimes. But, I don't know, I'm excited. I, that's all I can say. I'm just excited to play it and to experience these songs again. And to hear songs that I've heard before, potentially maybe even better. That's a scary thought. So, yeah. Can't wait to dive into this one. Thank you, Jay, for the request. If you would like to make your own request, you can do so on Patreon or PayPal. Either are totally fine. Those are guaranteed ways I will check out your song if you do not mind waiting. I have a giant backlog, unfortunately. If you do not want to wait, there's the Platinum Trophy tier on Patreon, which expedites your request to the very top. And a big thank you to Aiden, Justin, Kevin, Mushimari, the BRM, your average metalhead, and DJ Singletone for being a part of that. Thanks to all the Nier fans. Thanks to you for watching. Thanks to all my other supporters. I appreciate your presence here. I will be streaming this game for the first time starting tomorrow at twitch.tv. Hey, Uncle Jesse. I will see you there. Until next time, dudes and dudettes. Peace.